Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 5.3 on the Green Revolution. Okay, so the Green Revolution, um, a couple things to note about this is that um, this is an idea that because the human population is growing, you need to have more food, right? And conversely, because we have more food, the population continues to grow. So this has had to be done by making changes to the way we grow food. So, you know, if you remember um, your history, uh, humans began as kind of hunter gatherers and then eventually they switched over to agriculture they switched over to saving seeds growing what they needed to now that helped populations grow in the beginning but food production has had to increase exponentially in order to have the population be sustained so we've had to make some changes to the way this is done and this is generally called the green revolution so this has some several important steps here as you can see you've got mechanization Okay, you've got the use of genetically modified organisms or GMOs, as you'll be hearing them called. Um, we also have fertilizer strategies, uh, which might be a little different. And then um, the methods of irrigation and the methods of pesticide use. So the rest of unit five is gonna spend quite a bit on this, but this is kind of like a broad overview of the whole green revolution. So one of the big first steps here is mechanization. This is the idea that you're gonna use machines to increase your efficiency. And if you're a farmer in business, you're going to be um, looking for profits. So it's not just a matter of uh, increasing the amount of food you're making, but you know, nowadays, if you want to make money, you're gonna to have to make more food. Okay. And so the downside of this is when you have big machines like this, like tilling machines um, and seed planters and things like that, uh, you're going to have to use more fossil fuels. So that means you're going to have to use more fossil fuels to build the machines, to actually keep them maintained, and of course to run them. Now. Um, here's kind of a controversial topic, um, but it's genetically modified organisms. So the idea is that we have, we have the ability now to modify food genetically. This was done in the beginning of food with uh, selective breeding, right? We would take the biggest fruit or the seeds that would be more resistant to drought on our own, and we would save those seeds from those plants and use them, and then plants eventually changed more. Well, now we have the ability to actually go in and modify genes and add certain genes and take things out. Um, you'll hear about uh, certain genes we can do to make them pest resistant, so we can spray them for bugs, but they won't die, um, or spray them for weeds where they won't die. And so there's ups and downs to this, but it has allowed us to have more benefits to our food. So we have larger food that provides more calories and energy for us. We have foods that are pest resistant, as I mentioned, so they don't have bugs or other uh, you know, plants taking up the nutrients that they would use. That's increased our yield. And of course, we now have plants that we can add nutrients to, um, adding vitamins and nutrients and other uh, uh, additions that these plants don't carry that we can take to maybe more needy um, uh, environments or more needy uh, communities and populations. Okay. And then, of course, the pesticide use itself. Uh, we do want to get rid of certain weeds because you know we grow things generally in a monoculture. So um, having pesticide use has been helpful uh, because it gets rid of these unwanted plants. It gets rid of these organisms that might carry disease and stuff that would normally eat your crops. Because remember, if you're a pest and you are looking at a field of corn and that's the type of corn you like to eat, that's a big buffet that you will never run out of. So... Um, that will, will lead certain pests to grow in huge numbers. And so this is one way to get rid of that is by spraying it with pesticides. And so here's a bunch of other resources you can use on how GMOs and other uh, methods of the Green Revolution uh, did take place. So hopefully that was helpful and thank you.